Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use XP Play Remote Play Client for the purpose of streaming xCloud games on your Android device. This application is available on other platforms as well like Windows, iOS and even on the Linux based TeamOS. You can also use this application for the purpose of streaming games directly from your Xbox console to your device. It supports Xbox One, Series X and S consoles. I don't have any of these consoles so I'll just stick to xCloud. You need to have the paid membership of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate in order to use xCloud. On Android platform, you can download XP Play for free from Play Store. The free version is supported by ads. An ad will pop up after about 30 minutes of gameplay. If you don't want to watch any ad, you can unlock the full version of the application. It costs around Rs. 700 in India. Now Microsoft has its own Xbox Game Pass Android application for the purpose of streaming xCloud games. I've used it before from India was not impressed by the picture quality, it was looking pixelated, definitely not running at HD resolution, but the input delay was manageable. I used to rely on xCloud browser version to get better picture quality, but its input delay was slightly higher than the Game Pass Android app. XP Play app on Android platform has many advantages over Game Pass app, like the ability to use FSI and sharpening filters, ability to adjust the bitrate, inbuilt performance overlay, full HD streams, and the ability to use virtual controls for all of the xCloud games. This app also supports mouse and keyboard for Xbox games that officially support them. It even has support for third-party controllers like DualSense controller. So let's just install the application. We'll be using this application on my Xiaomi Pad 6 as always for cloud streaming. Use a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel or an Ethernet connection. When the first time you launch a tutorial window will pop up, I'll just skip this part. You can read it if you want. This is the home screen. If you want to unlock the full version of this app, just tap on the three dots here. Tap on unlock full version. This is its price in India, Rs. 700. Entirely up to you whether you want to use the free version or the paid version. I'll just stick with the free version. Access app setting by tapping on the hamburger icon here. This xCloud play, tap on it. Then tap on start xCloud. Login required. Now before logging in, I'll be connecting to Proton VPN, Japan region, as xCloud is not officially available in my country that is India. If the service is available in your country, you don't need to use any VPN. The idea here is to connect to the nearest xCloud server to your country in order to reduce input delay. VPN is running in the background. Ok. Just wait for this Microsoft sign-in window to pop up. Now sign into your Microsoft account that has an active membership of Game Pass Ultimate. It's going to take a few seconds to load the xCloud library. No console found. Ok, not using consoles. Now just tap on start xCloud again. xCloud library is loading. Library has been loaded up. Using the VPN, you only need to sign into your Microsoft account once. When the next time you try to sign in, you won't be required to use any VPN. So I'll just disconnect from the VPN now. In order to access app setting, just need to press the back key. I've enabled Android's gesture mode, so I'll just swipe left from the right edge. Tap on the three dots here. Settings. The default settings work very nicely. I'll just show you a few settings. If you want to disable mobile and controller rumble, just uncheck these settings. Rumble intensity can be adjusted from here. Max bitrate. I've set it to unlimited highest quality. Choose a region for X Loud. I'll just select Japan East. Choose xCloud language, default English. That's it, we're done here. Now tap on start xCloud. No VPN is running in the background. There you go, xCloud library loaded up. So first I'll be running GTA 5 Xbox Series S version of the game. It actually runs at 60 FPS on xCloud. There it is. You don't need to own the game, just need to have Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Play. Tap on connect. These are the virtual controls. This is the performance overlay. Streams FPS. Resolution. Status disconnecting waiting for the connection to start. Jitter and lag. Game has started. Here you can see it's running at 60 FPS. Stream resolution full HD. Codec PS1 default. Jitter and lag values. Now in order to access the interface settings, just tap on this icon here. You can move it freely as well. I'll just keep it here. Settings. Again, I'll be leaving most of the settings to default. Touch control size on screen, cover 100% of screen. Video settings. 
inherit from app settings video fit if you are observing some scaling issues you can try from any of these options stretch scale down inherit from app audio app supports mic it should be shown here if you are using one advanced stream resolution set it to full hd if you want to conserve some data you can drop the resolution quality to 720p codec by default it's set to auto detect you can choose from any of these codecs you can try experimenting with these settings if you observe stuttering on your device bitrate can be adjusted from here manual use these sliders minimum and maximum values i'll stick with auto apply and close then we have clarity boost setting upscalers fsr and fss i'll be using fsr as my tabs display supports a resolution higher than full hd then we have sharpness i won't be using any of these settings it's entirely up to you, you can try experimenting with them general this setting is very useful side by side comparison on the left side you'll be seeing the stream with clarity boost applied and on the right side you'll be seeing the original stream we just enable it tap on apply and close my mobile camera may not be able to capture the difference here but on the left side stream quality is looking sharper than the right side i'll just disable it again let's just play the game now all right now i can control my character check out the input response also see the picture quality it's looking crisp full hd 60 fps stream is consuming almost 1.2 megabyte per second of data it depends on the scene you can see I can also use my gamepad. It's directed to Alsense controller. To check the veracity of the FPS counter, now I'll be running Starfield, and we all know Starfield runs at 30 FPS on Xbox consoles. There's Starfield. Game has started. I'll show you how to keep the performance overlay enabled with the touch controls hidden while you're using a gamepad. Tap on the menu button here, settings, nerd stats behavior, set it to always show, touch controls behavior, set it to always hide, apply and close, there you go. Alright the game aside guys and you can see FPS counter is showing an FPS count of 30. So this FPS counter is definitely accurate, game is consuming almost 1.5 megabyte per second of data. Now you don't need to use FSR if your device's display supports only full HD resolution. FSR upscales the image from a lower resolution to a higher resolution. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.